I'm Dr. Todd Morgan, and I'd like to tell you about an interesting case we had in recently. It involves a very lovable cat named Tuna. Now Tuna is a five-year-old orange tabby who unfortunately got himself into a lot of trouble when he was outside one day. He hobbled back home on three legs, and it was uncertain if he got his left front leg caught into an animal trap or if he got it caught in something like a car engine. It's common for cats to sit on the engine under the hood of a car to warm up a little bit or to sleep. And if the engine is turned on, the surprised cat gets stuck in the fan belt when trying to escape. Now we won't show you the gory photos of Tuna's leg, but one thing was certain in that Tuna's leg could not be salvaged and amputation was the only option. Amputating your beloved pet's leg may sound cruel and barbaric to some, but I want to show you how amazing our dogs and cats are. Most dogs and cats do fantastically well on three legs and they don't have the psychological stigmas that people would have if they lost their own leg. The surgical advances and pain medications we have these days are incredible and pets like Tuna recover comfortably and with a small amount of physiotherapy are up and walking quickly. Tuna never showed any depression over losing his limb and quickly adjusted to his new life without his front leg. Tuna's owners were thrilled that they opted not to euthanize him and proceed with his surgery. They were amazed at how fast he returned to his normal activities, no worse for wear. Our pets can quickly adapt to any environment and have such a great outlook on life that it's one of the reasons why I love my job so much. And as for Tuna, well, he may be a little slower in the race, but he has a long, rewarding life ahead of him. Thank you.